could say the life of Old Cardinal Stadium was surely a home run. You could see baseball games and U of L football games. It even played host to numerous concerts. Amazing Willie Nelson came to town in 1995 for a farm aid concert. And NSYNC had teen girls screaming and singing their hearts out in 2001. I'm like their number one fan. A year later, quite possibly one of the greatest high school football games was played under the stadium lights. Louisville historian Tom Owen remembers it well. There was a massive football game uh, with 20,000 people going to a high school football game when Mail played Trinity. Trinity beat Mail 59 to 56 to win the state championship. It's a great game. Remember this, we may not see another one like this ever. Team Spirit may have soared at that game, but the fireworks flew even higher for the very first Thunder over Louisville. Producer Wayne Hedinger had been there from the start. In a previous interview, he told WDRB there was something magical about that first show at Old Cardinal Stadium. The expressway came to a complete stop. Uh, the, the entire parking lot was filled up with people. And you could hear this roar come up out of it when the fireworks were gone. But the electricity we were feeling in that room, it was like, oh, we've got something magic here. The old stadium even had a presidential visit. President George H.W. Bush threw out the first pitch of a baseball game that raised money for hurricane victims. Helping another, that is the American spirit, the American way, that is what we mean when we talk about points of light. The history and life of this stadium is robust. When the last Riverbats game was played there in 1999, a player's statement from that day rings true 20 years later. God, I know there's a lot of history here and a lot of people are going to miss the stadium one way or the other. This is just part of Louisville and to see it go will certainly stir gigantic pools of memory. But as each brick and stadium seat is removed, you can be sure well, the memories will last forever. Fallon Glick, WDRB News.